Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own metallic uh, watercolors and metallic acrylic paints using dollar store eyeshadows. Um, if you already have eyeshadow that's not the loose kind, that's fine. You can crunch it up to make it work. Um, what you want to do is look for eyeshadow with mica being the first ingredient. Usually that's on the main package that it comes in. These are um, a dollar piece from the dollar store. And what inspired this was the other day, um, actually yesterday, I knocked one of these off, the gold one, and it hit my floor and the bottom popped off it and I couldn't believe how much product was in there. That filled complete two of these completely and that's not counting what was on my floor and what I mixed up to make um to make some acrylic paint. I painted these tiles with the acrylic paint um, and it covered up the printing that I had on the tiles underneath so that was kind of cool. So I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, so here are some examples of some that I've made. These little these are little watercolors kind of like the uh, twinkling H2O's that you buy. Um, you can make them quite a bit cheaper. I'm just going to loosely set the covers on here because they're not completely dried out yet and I want to make sure they're dry before I cap them up good but I don't want to get too much loose powder in there. Alright so when you get these they look like this and you can keep them in here if you just want them for powder they come with a little applicator which is uh, handy but I find that you can't really get all of the stuff all the powder out of there I was really surprised at how much was in there I'm gonna need to clean my camera when I'm done it's gonna have powder all over it so what you want to do is flip it over and there's kind of like a soft plastic bottom and you just want to get in there with like a with a pokey tool a paper piercer works really good and just start poking at it until you can pry off the bottom hopefully Oh my gosh, I just did like four of these and didn't have any problem. Probably gonna stab myself on the camera. That would be, that would be just my luck. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. How about we try a different color? That one, uh, that one's problematic. Let's try this one. Probably got the other one loosened up by now. There we go. See, easy. All right, you can see you get all that powder in there. So what I'm going to do is I want to keep some of this loose powder, so I'm going to pour it into one of these containers, and I save these. Um, they, I had beads in them, and I used the beads up, and these are the little pots that they came in. So I always save little containers like that, because you never know what you might want to use them for down the road. I'm just going to fill that container up. I'll just give it a tap. There's lots of product in there. I just don't want to dump it all over my table. Whoa. Now the excess I'm going to put on that tile because I'm going to mix it up with some, um, see that? You can put it right in the little container. It's ready to go just like your Pearl X. And now I'm going to um, add some gum arabic. And this is the bottle that it came from. This is Da Vinci gum arabic. Yeah, this is an eight ounce bottle. And I think I got it. It was, it was, uh, it was on sale when I got it. It was quite a few years ago. It does last. Um, and I think I paid uh, about $6 for it, but I bet that price is crazy higher now. But DaVinci was a new company at the time, so I got to, so, you know, they came out with their stuff pretty inexpensively. So then you want to mix your gum arabic, and this is going to make your watercolor, the liquid watercolor, like your twinkling H2Os or your Pearlex watercolors. So I want to, I'm just mixing this up on the tile. And I can add some more. I might have to add a little bit more of the gum arabic. Some colors seem to take a little bit more gum arabic in order to get it nice and nice and painty. It's going to make a paste and um, I know I could pause while I'm mixing this but I kind of want to show you how much it takes and how long it takes so that you're not kind of wondering if you got the right thing or if you're doing it wrong if you're doing it at home and it seems like it's taking a lot longer or using a lot more of the stuff the coppery colors do seem to take a little bit more. You can do this with your Pearl X too. Um, I just find this to be such an economical alternative all right, I can start adding some more of the powder to that. I was I mixed those right in the pots, but I kept it kept spilling and I had to keep scooping it up off my table. So that's why I went to the tile method. I think it's a little bit easier to to handle this way. And those little square containers are great too. They also um, beads came in those too from the bead store. Let's see how that's getting really dry. I need a little bit more gum arabic. Now if you have gum arabic and you've noticed it's gotten thick over the years, this was like really thick in here because I had decanted some in the squeeze bottle but it wasn't airtight and it was quite thick and it wouldn't pour at all. I just took, I added a little water to it and I microwaved it for 20 seconds and then it started to mix up and bubble up and now it was it was perfect. I could use it again. Um, I bought my gum arabic in liquid form but it does come um, powdered as well. I've never used the powdered stuff so I can't really uh offer too much advice on that. Let's see if I have a lot more on that. I'll use what's left there to show you the acrylic paint. Um, now I'm going to scrape this up and put it into one of these containers. 
that one's let's use this one here you want to make sure it's one that you can easily get the cap on and off of um and i don't put the loose powder in these containers because they um i don't want it to um I don't want the caps to be, I want the caps to be easily to come off, easy to come off from the watercolors, but not from the loose powder, because otherwise I'll have a mess. I tend to, the powder goes everywhere when you open up one of the containers and just kind of spread it out in there. Could add a little bit more gum arabic, but I think I got enough in there to bind it, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to go for any more. All right, so there I have a little pot of liquid watercolor, um, I mean, I'm sorry, of uh, metallic watercolor. I'm just going to set that aside, and now I'm going to show you how to make the acrylics. So what I'm going to do is just kind of dump out some more of that and I am actually going to use a paintbrush actually I can use this um, I need a little bit of Mod Podge that's going to be my acrylic medium and now I will use a paintbrush just because I have to use a paintbrush anyway to get in here so I'm going to grab some paint some um, Mod Podge and just mix it up the same way I did with the um, with the gum arabic except the mod podge will mix up a lot easier all right maybe i'll put a little bit more in there that doesn't look like i have that much pigment um, i think it was this one right here i kind of tap it down too when i um go to open it because otherwise i'll get i'll get a lot of uh extra stuff i can get just a little bit of a scoop There we go. So I do like to use this um, this dollar store eyeshadow for this because then I don't have to feel like I have to be so stingy with it. Um, <clears throat> Perlex, I mean, if you have a color you really like, it might be cheaper to buy like a big thing of Perlex, get it in bulk, ounce for ounce. But this is certainly an affordable option if you don't want to do that or you don't want to, you know, invest in, in the Perlex. All right, so now I'm just going to paint some here. I haven't tried out this copper paint, so I know the gold is really big. Look at that completely opaque nice and shimmery um and it's and you know it's got the mod podge in it so it's going to be permanent i would if you're going to put it on like wood or something or have it outside you want to put another sealer on top of it but i think that's pretty cool and um the watercolors as well let me give an example of those let me just get a fresh clean brush here watercolor brush and we'll try one of those out we'll try this one because this one is the one i made the longest time ago ah i don't have very much room here get a little bit of that on my brush and you want to make sure you just like if you're using twinkling h2o's you want to make sure that you on you leave it uncapped until it dries there nice and shimmery and hold it to the light so you can see nice and shiny so there's just some homemade supplies you can make using dollar tree um liquid um, powdered eyeshadow you can also get this at the family dollar and um i don't know about that one i hope that one comes off that's kind of a different bottom but um, there you have it, DIY Metallic Paint. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my other fabulous crafty recipes. And until next time, happy crafting. Oh, one more thing. The acrylic paint, you kind of got to use it when you make it. You don't want to make it up ahead because this will be, you just use a wet brush to get this stuff back out with the gum arabic. If it's got the Mod Podge in it, once it dries, it's dried. You can't reactivate it. So keep that in mind while you're mixing your paint. All right, that's it. Thanks so much and happy crafting.